Hello everybody, and now it's time to continue the next mission, which is actually a continuation from the last video, uh, The City on the Edge of Never. Now we are going to continue that storyline because we need to go through the Guardian portal here to the past and save Morel Paris. And so this one is called Past Imperfect, and we just literally will use the portal and travel back in time now. Commander, it looks like the Guardian of Forever took us back to our ship. And, sir, I don't believe this. Our chronometers show that we have been transported to the year 2270. Sir, this is strange. It appears that the history files in our computer have been altered. According to the computer, this is the point in time in which the USS Enterprise and all aboard her are lost. This defeat sparked a series of events that led to the downfall of the United Federation of Planets. That's all wrong, Commander. Looks like Bavat is changing history already. I'm detecting a Klingon Raptor from our time, Commander. It's the IKS Warvig, and I'm reading Lieutenant Parrish's comm signal. She's on board. The Warvig is attacking the Enterprise. We have to stop it, sir. Contamination from our time cannot be allowed to change the past. Sir, the Enterprise is hailing us. Patching it through now. Unknown ship. This is the USS Enterprise. Please respond. So awesome. Commander, I'm transmitting a text-only message to let them know they are friendly and we are friendly and here to help. The less interaction we have with the time, the less chance we have of altering the timeline ourselves. Let's go save the Enterprise. Hit him with a harpang, there we go. Yep, Enterprise almost got destroyed. If we hadn't have intervened right now, the Enterprise would have been destroyed. You saved the Enterprise! Enterprising rescue. Unknown vessel, this is Commander Spock of the USS Enterprise. Thank you for your assistance. Commander, Mr. Spock is asking us to identify ourselves. Sir, I recommend we do not respond. All contact we have with anyone in this time would be considered a violation of the Temporal Prime Directive. We should concentrate on finding Lieutenant Paris and correcting the damage that the Klingons have done to the timeline. The Warvig warped to a nearby system. I can get a lock on the warp signature and we should be able to follow it. Alright, let's pursue the Warvig. We saved the Enterprise from destruction. That's a good thing. Captain, I have a lock on the Warvig and Lieutenant Paris's signal. The Warvig has some new friends, sir. We should be prepared to defend ourselves. Disable the Warvig and its escorts. We got a D7 battle cruiser, a couple of them, and the Warvig. Great. I want to take out the D7s first, then we'll worry about the Warvig. And now the Warvig. Shields have 
Yeah, it's gonna warp again, isn't it? Or cloak. There it is, way over there. Well, before we go over there, let's get this gas. Dwarvig, okay. Let's save Morel Paris. The Warvig shields are down. I recommend we take this opportunity to transport an away team aboard. Let's do it. Triple up. Locate Lieutenant Paris. See, are there any boxes in here? No, no boxes. There are Klingons. Definitely Klingons. Lots of Klingons. These are early Klingons. These are uh, the original Star Trek series Klingons. Some of these Klingons are still affected by the Augment Virus. It appears we've arrived in a time period where it is yet to be fully cured. Exactly. So, augmented Klingons are working with Klingons from the future. Very weird. how these Klingons back here were just watching all that. Uh, we're not going to get in the way. Y'all have fun. Hmm, there's, um... Who is that? It is Bavat. A younger version of Bavat. Oh, I gotta take... He's fighting me. What is he doing? Where is he going? He's trying to run away. Talk to Bavat. Mevyep, I am not your enemy, Commander. Ask me what you will. What do you know about why we are here? I know you are not of this time, Commander. You are from the future. Your presence here was forecast. Forecast by whom? Many years ago, time-traveling beings came to the Klingons. They wanted us to join in their temporal war. We are no one's puppet. The Klingon Empire refused to help them. However, they told us many things about the future in their attempt to gain our allegiance. We listened, and since then a group of Klingons has used that knowledge to guide the Empire. What do you want with Moral Paris? She is the Kuvik Ma. We walk in her footsteps before she has made them. Her destiny is to be the one who cures the Klingon people. She will wash away the stain of the Augment virus that was sm that has smoothed our brows and put our fear into our hearts. 
She's been here two months already. Yes, and we are beginning to see results. The Kuvagma has a unique genetic sequence that has allowed my physicians to completely transform us back to the mighty warriors we once were. No more will we be ridgeless and honorless. We will be Klingon. We will follow in the Kuvagma's footsteps and walk in the path of honor and glory. So, Morale Paris is the reason for why the Klingons got their ridges back. Wow. Tell me about the Kuvagma. Some call her a savior, many among my crew see her as a traitor. It is strange to see a mythological being wearing the uniform of your enemy. I don't know what I believe in the I don't know what I believe of the old ways. The prophecy says she will be a voyager and that the Klingons will know her before she knows the world. What I have seen in the pa in these past days makes me believe this is true. Tell me about the Klingons who brought the Warvig to this time. Most of them are crazed by their contact with the augmentation process. Their leader tells me they were experimented on by a man named Amar Singh. They will do anything, kill anyone in their quest to be whole again. They arrived here a month ago. They brought with the Kuvagma with them and they asked me to keep her safe. They left for a time and then returned two days ago with this wonder of a starship. They told me that it was the first of a mighty fleet that would rule the galaxy. Who were you dealing with? Their leader. It is my greatest shame to see him. I have come face to face with my future self, and I see that I will walk a path of great dishonor. Hmm. Are you saying that Moral was kidnapped by a future you? Ambassador Bravat is the man I will become. Time travel is such a tricky thing, and now I understand why Klingon intelligence hates pre predestination paradoxes so much. Ambassador Bravat will not surrender the Kuvagma without a fight. It appears that the years have made him, made me, quick to anger and quick to judge. I wonder what will happen to make me such a bitter, manipulative man. What is the predestination paradox? When one travels back in time, one may cause or undo the reason for the journey. Anything we do now may alter the reality that you know. Then again, the reality we know could not exist unless we were here at this time and place. I would advise you not to volunteer for many more time travel missions, Commander. They tend to complicate your life. You are the defenders of the Kuvagma. You will find Ambassador Dabat at her side. You will not surrender her without a fight. Give him a good death. That is all any Klingon desires. Defeat Ambassador Bavat and rescue Morel Paris. Allow Bavat to beam out. Okay, I guess. Where are you beaming out to? There are no ships nearby. Lower the aft force field. Well, that's an interesting story there. So, you know, the uh, Klingons became ridgeless because of the augmentation virus. And Moral Paris is the key to curing that, making them back into the ridgeful Klingons they used to be. Very interesting story. It's all come for full circle. Now we gotta fight Bavat. Totally missed him with my grenade. Why you gotta gang up on me? Alright, well we took him out. That wasn't too bad. There's Merle Paris. Let's free her. I didn't appreciate being held captive, but if I can help the Klingons, I will gladly do so. Think of it this way. If we can find peace here, there's hope for the future. Did they harm you? No, but the Klingons of this time have the genetic samples they need from me, and I am more than ready to get back to our time. Thank you. I won't forget what you did today. All right. One to Let's get out of here. Hey, I want to go too, not just you. Captain Bavad and his crew are transporting off the war vid, Captain, but we can't leave the ship here. Its technology is far too advanced for this time period. I suggest we return to our ship and destroy the war vid. 
It is the best way to preserve the timeline. Yes, let's do that. Destroy! And it's gone. Let's get this magnesite. We've done what we can to restore the timeline. I recommend we return to the gateway system. The Guardian should be able to transport us back to when we belong. Okay. Sir, the Guardian has opened a portal, but there are Klingon ships blocking the way. The Klingons are hailing us, Captain, putting it on screen. The Kuvag Ma and that lovely ship of yours are staying here. We'll have a grand time dissecting both of them. Surrender now and we'll give you a quick death. Defeat the Klingons. <laughs> Ooh, they're right there. Warning. Ship is under attack. Target's shield has failed. Klingon ships decloaking. More of them, huh? The Enterprise has joined the fight. Nice, and there's the Enterprise. Doesn't have much more hole than I have. Sir, the Enterprise is hailing us again. Commander Spock says they can assist us. He has deduced that we came through a portal opened by the Guardian of Forever, and he wishes to speak to you. Opening audio link now. I am not unfamiliar with time travel, Captain. We will endeavor to engage the Klingons until you can escape. Live long and prosper. Aw, oh, he knows. The Guardian has opened a return portal for us. Use the Guardian portal. Nice. Nice seeing the Enterprise. The original one. The old, the original Star Trek Enterprise. Very cool. Let's go home. That is a cool mission. Always has been, always will be. I like that they managed to put that in there, you know, have the old Enterprise show up with Spock. Leonard Nimoy voicing, of course. I mean, how awesome is that? The fact they got Leonard Nimoy to voice for this game is just really awesome. Come on, game, you can load. Speak to the Guardian. Time has resumed its shape. All is as it was before. Farewell. Yay, we fixed stuff. 
Incoming message from Starfleet. I'll link it to your tricorder. Congratulations on a job well done, Commander. Lieutenant Paris will return to, to duty, and you have ended the threat to the Federation. But we have some questions. Time travel is not a routine mission, you know. Don't be surprised if you get a visit from the Department of Temporal Investigations. Predestination paradoxes can be troubling for them. <laughs> and me. Accolade complete. Chrononaut. Yay, we finished this mission. Let's turn it in. Commander, I don't think I need to tell you how important the mission you just completed was, for all of us. The very fabric of our universe was at stake, and you acted with professionalism and aplomb. Thanks to you and your crew, Ambassador Bavat's plan was foiled. Temporal Investigations does want to talk to you about how the description of the USS Prometheus is now showing up in the USS Enterprise's mission logs. But I told them you didn't have time to report for debriefing. Ha ha ha, Quinn made a joke. You're funny, Quinn. Now, this mission offers some really cool items. I recommend, if you're playing this on your own, as a free-to-play character or any any other time, to, to replay this mission for the things, because here's what they got. They've got an in, inefficient impulse engine. As you can see, it increases flight speed, turn rate. Also, it increases weapon power, shield power, and auxiliary power on your ship. This is a very good leveling up engine, i.e. this is a good engine to use as you're leveling up to level 50 at least. So I would recommend getting this e engine and upgrading at every, every rank. At commander, at captain, at rear admiral, this is a great engine. The next thing is this paratrinic shield. For a shield, a, a, a reward shield, this has one of the highest maximum shield capacities. Now, it, obviously that doesn't look like a lot right there, but that's only because we're commander level 22. But as you rank up and keep leveling up and stuff, this is a good, a, another good leveling up shield. It's also a rare shield, so is the engine. Also, if you were going with like a plasma disruptor uh, type of build, there's a good beam bank there. And then there is a very good plasma disruptor hybrid dual heavy cannon. So there's a way to get a dual heavy cannon early in the game here with uh, this mission. You just have to replay it. And of course, a Federation Type 1 phaser just to have it for funsies. That's a nice phaser just to have for fun. So these are some good uh, weapon, these are some good ship things here, ship items. Now, I kind of do want to replay because I really wish I had all of these things, but uh, I'm not going to replay it again because I don't want to level too fast. I want to, uh, you know, just go with the normal pace of the game. So I'm going to go with the efficient engine. I think that's going to be most benefit to me because that's going to increase my turn rate on the ship, my flight speed, which is going to make my escort even more escorty. But at the same time, it's going to give me more weapon power, shield power, and aux power. So it's a very good uh, ability there. So collect that. Now we are still 22. We didn't uh, hit 23 notice this time, so but we are very close to 23. But we're at 22. We can spend some skill points too. I'm gonna want to finish combat specialist. There we go. Now that combat specialist is done, I do want to get targeting systems uh, maxed out because oh look, we're going to be able to do that. Uh, that's going to help our aim, our accuracy. And uh, you'll notice I have missed quite a bit when firing at enemy ships, either with my beam or my uh, cannons. They have missed the target. Uh, that beam especially has missed the target quite a bit, I've noticed. So this uh, increase in accuracy will really help that. So that I'll actually hit my target and not waste my shots. There we go. So I'm, I'm maxed up right now as far as I can go. Let's go to space, and uh, I'll put this engine on. I'll go back to the solar system so you can see the differences with the engine. Just transorb to the solar system. This will give me a chance to sell all my items. So you'll notice my uh, current engine is just a Mark IV. It's got uh, a little bit of a turn rate increase, but not much, and then flight speed. Here's a uh, comparison when we hover over it. So I'm gonna gain flight speed. Um, I guess my turn rate's gonna be the same, but I am going to gain 
pow weapon power, even though it doesn't say it. I think I will when I put it on. We'll see. Shield power and Hawk's power. Let's put it on and see what happens. So my power levels are at 115, 57, 34, 34. Let's see what happens when we put it on. Well, the shield went up and the ox went up, but engine and weapon power stayed the same. Well, I'll take it anyway. I guess I'm not getting weapon power. I don't know why I'm not getting weapon power. It says zero weapon power setting. It's supposed to increase your weapon power. I don't know why it's not. There's got to be a reason. I just don't know that reason. Well, at least I got higher shield power and ox power out of it. I'll take it. It's got a higher flight speed anyway. Better than what I had, but not as good as I thought it was going to be. Maybe if I increased... No, that wouldn't make a difference. Yeah, I don't know why it didn't increase the weapon power. Maybe somebody out there will know why it doesn't do that on my build. But it is giving me a shield and auxiliary power increase. I'll take it. I'll take it. Not gonna it's a good it's a good impulse engine still. Efficient impulse engine. And um the only thing is I would I, I kinda would like to replay to get the paratrinic shield. I'm not going to, but if I were playing this one and not making video out of it, I would probably replay the mission and get that better shield as well. Anyway, I can go sell all this stuff for energy credits. Okay. Alright, I hope you all enjoyed that episode, that mission. That was pretty fun. Nice little uh, diversion there into the past. And uh, in fact, this next one that's going to actually end the Klingon War arc that we are under uh, deals with uh, time travel again in an interesting way. It's called Temporal Ambassador. So thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next one.